Today we are going to talk about how to write the hello world program in 10 different languages. The purpose of this video is not to uh, learn the syntax of all 10 programming languages but to see the syntactic differences that uh, you know doing the same thing in different programming languages how does it look. So that is what we are trying to see. So the first language that we are going to be writing hello world is in Java. Now I've already talked about Java before. Java is an object oriented programming language that is extremely popular in the enterprise software development world. Uh, now since it is an object oriented programming language all codes even the simplest hello world code has to be put inside a class and that is what you see in a hello world Java code. The next programming language is Python. Python because it is an interpreted language uh, so it's the syntax is much simpler and you don't need classes uh, although it does support object oriented programming but to write the hello world program you just need to write print hello world. The next programming language where we see the hello world program is C. Because C is a procedural programming language you need to define the hello world code or the code that prints hello world inside the main function. You also need to include the stdio.h header that contains the libraries for inputting and outputting to the screen. The fourth language that we are going to try is JavaScript. Now JavaScript is a scripting language uh, so it obviously has a very simple syntax for beginners and it is also now being popularly used in uh, server side applications in addition to web development as well. So in JavaScript there are three different ways depending on whether you are executing the code on the front end or the back end to output things to the screen. Next let's look at C sharp. If you look at the code it is very similar to Java because it was inspired from Java. So Microsoft built C sharp, uh, they looked at Java and they looked at what weaknesses it had or how they could build a better version of it. That is why it is very similar to Java and it is very popular in the enterprise software application world. The next programming language we are going to look at is Go. Now Go is a procedural language that is built by Google and if you look at the uh, hello world program for Go then it is very similar to C because again as I mentioned before because both are procedural languages so they will have very similar syntax. The next language we are going to look at is Kotlin. Kotlin was developed by a company called JetBrains which also builds IDEs and uh, it is used or it is being built as an alternative to Java for building Android applications. The next programming language we are going to look at is Swift. Swift is built by Apple and it is used for building applications for iOS, Mac OS and watch OS. If you look at the syntax it's very simple to write hello world in Swift. The next language we are going to look at is PHP. PHP is one of the world's most popular programming languages or scripting languages because it is used so widely for web development. Now the syntax of PHP might seem a bit weird compared to other programming languages because uh, it is primarily used as a templating language or it was built as a templating language and later on programming language core programming language features were added to it but this is how hello world is written in PHP. Let's move on to C++ now since C++ was built on top of C the hello world program for C++ looks very similar to C. What you see in the print uh, hello world program is the introduction of streams that is a concept in C++ and that is very popular. So uh, this is a bit different from again other programming languages. Now I have a little task for you. If you remember the first hello world program you wrote in your favorite programming language write it in the comments below and let's see which programming language is more popular for learning the first programming language or the first step in learning programming for all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Happy programming.